Welcome to the Alpha Training and Consulting's online training program. Today we're going to answer the question, what is measurement linearity? There you go. All right, keep us in mind, should you ever need an ASQ certification preparation class, we've been doing this for 20 years. We've become very good at it, and we'd love to have you as one of our students. All right, back to the question, what is linearity, measurement linearity? And here we go. The difference in the bias values throughout the expected operating range of the instrument. So measure, maybe you measure from 0 to 10 centimeters, and this is your bias. Then you go from 10 centimeters to 20 centimeters, and the bias changes. It changes over the operating range of the instrument. Let's go to the whiteboard and let me explain in a little greater detail. All right, here we are at my whiteboard. Notice I've already drawn something out for you here. So this is the true value and, uh, of whatever I'm measuring. Let's say I'm measuring the diameter of this pen. We always use that as an example. But anyway, this is the true value. And uh, this is right after calibration, so we're pretty good here. And notice, if I open my instrument up, this represents the length of the instrument. Notice that if I open that up, okay, there I go. So at this operating range here of the instrument, this is the bias. Now I'm going to open it up more. Notice what happened to the bias. Oh, no, we don't like this. Now I'm going to come out here. And look at it again, and right here, oh, look at the bias. It's going up, isn't it? It's going up. Uh, the bias changes over the operating range of this instrument. And if I open it enough, I come out here, and I say, oh, no, this instrument is no longer acceptable. It's out of calibration when I operate on the upper range of this instrument. Now, if I'm down here, I'm okay, even though I'm getting pretty close over here. Uh, but here on out, this instrument is out of calibration. And a lot of times, uh, instruments with linearity problems, you know, it doesn't matter. Even right after calibration, you can't get the whole range within the specs. And so you may call up the client. The calibration person may call up the client and say, hey, here we go. And they may say, listen, I feel comfortable calibrating this instrument. I'll give you a partial calibration instrument or partially calibrated instrument from this dimension to this dimension. But after that distance there, I'm not comfortable anymore with giving this instrument a calibration. Well, most people will just say, hey, that instrument served us well for a long time. Would you please throw it away? We're going to get another one that doesn't have this problem with linearity. So linearity is a problem. Again, what is linearity? Change in bias. What is bias? The true value to the measured value. A change in bias over the operating range of the instrument. Remember, drift was a change in bias over time. Okay? Linearity is a change in bias over the operating range of our instrument. Hopefully that was helpful. All right, thank, thank you for joining me in this uh, short lecture. Hopefully you learned something new that will help you in your career. Here's all my websites for my ASQ preparation classes. This is where you can learn more about these classes and also sign up for them. Hopefully you desire to do that. Uh, but feel free to put the video on pause, find the one you're interested in, write that down, go visit that uh, website. It'll answer many of the questions you have concerning that class. And of course, if you have any other questions, you can contact me. There's my contact information right there. All right, keep us in mind for any ASQ certification preparation classes. Thank you, and have a great day. Goodbye.